shock. I was an NCIX customer for years. I've recommended clients shop at NCIX. I've purchased tons of hardware and server equipment from them over the years, and it's just such a betrayal. Travis Doring is a systems analyst, and he says he's uncovered a data breach that could affect thousands of people on both sides of the border. Last month, he was searching through Craigslist for used computer software when something caught his eye. I was browsing Craigslist, and I noticed a suspicious ad. Uh, the ad listed that he had multiple NCIX servers for sale. So he decided to do a little digging, and upon contacting the seller, a man named Jeff, he found that the servers, far from being empty, were full of personal information. I managed to find usernames and passwords, passwords that were encrypted so poorly they may as well not have been in plain text themselves. The data uncovered was deeply personal. IDs, pay slips, SIN numbers of employees, addresses of customers in the US and Canada, and in this file, credit card numbers. It's a treasure trove for data and identity thieves, but that's not the worst part. Jeff admitted something else to Travis that could have far-reaching implications. So he made me a different offer, a far shadier offer. For $15,000, he would allow me to rent the room, and that would allow me to copy all of the data, anything that I wanted, complete. When companies like NCIX go bankrupt, the decision of how to deal with hardware and software is a tricky one. The hardware can be sold on to pay off outstanding debts, but the data should always be erased. However, in this instance, it seems that this important part was overlooked. We're on site in Richmond at the uh, NCIX Netlink computer bankruptcy. This YouTube video posted by Able Auctions in February of this year shows NCIX servers before they were due for auction. Now, while these aren't the ones in question, such auctions are not uncommon, nor are they illegal. But it's the data which is occasionally left on them which can lead to problems. It's extremely common. Um, there's been multiple cases where auction companies around the world, not, not even locally in Vancouver, but all around the world have auctioned off equipment with intellectual property on it. In a tweet earlier today, Richmond RCMP confirmed they were looking into a case of data theft, saying, Yesterday afternoon we opened an investigation into data storage devices being sold online, allegedly containing customer data from a defunct but well-known computer retailer. We have since recovered the storage devices. Our investigation is active and ongoing. Travis says much of the data has already been bought. He even claims one of them was a foreign buyer. It may be too late for customers now, but he believes what's ultimately needed is a change in the law. We need stronger privacy laws in Canada that protect consumers because clearly the laws we have are not accomplishing a single thing. In Vancouver, Tom Walsh, City News.